Hey guys, um, if you saw my egg cutting for the sunset to 66% possible het sunset video, I'm going to show the update. Um, all the babies came out of the egg, uh, and they look really, really good. So let's show these guys off. Um, they have not shed yet, and I figured I'll do just another uh, update once they have had their sheds. I couldn't wait to show these guys off. So first we have the 100% het, and this is a male. So there's four eggs. Then sunset. Sunset. And sunset number three. Super happy with these guys. Um, I ended up hitting one male and two females. So uh, at, at the moment I'm going to keep a one male and one female. Um, I want to keep them back up male um, because I'm growing in the project. I have, now that the female proved out to be a het, I have uh, four females that I should be able to breed next year um, that are all hets. Uh, the other three are combo hets. One of them laid this year and I'm waiting for her eggs to hatch at the end of next month. Uh, she laid 11 good eggs. Uh, some of them are pretty small, the smallest eggs I've ever had. But they're all all good eggs. Uh, it was 11 eggs and one slug that she laid. Um, so pretty excited for that. Uh, she was, uh, she is a leopard bumblebee at sunset. Um, so I'm hoping to hit a leopard sunset or a pastel leopard sunset without the spider um, and I'd like to keep preferably a male leopard sunset if pastels in it that's okay um, you know depending on what it looks like if it has spider you know I may keep that too uh, I don't know we'll, we'll see so when that hatches there's lots of chances for sunsets in that clutch um, so, but I'm definitely planning on keeping at least a male and a female out of this until that hatches and until, like I said, I, a few of the eggs are really small. So, um, I want to make sure that I get a backup male. And I'll probably be trying to keep two visual females in total. Um... But like I said, I'll probably let one of these females go before, you know, that comes. But overall, very, very happy. So much orange on these guys. I'm actually, like, so surprised at how orange they actually are. Honestly, the camera doesn't even do justice. They look so much better in person. But, pretty stoked. Um, especially considering my sunset project fell apart last year. Um, the mom of these babies, uh, she would not lock with the sunset male last year so I guess she just wasn't really really ready to do the thing or maybe he didn't want to do it with her um, she had follicles but it just didn't happen she reabsorbed um, I had another girl um, uh, what's it, what was it um, I, I bred him to an HRA female and they locked once or twice and then 
she reabsorbed and they stopped locking. Um, I had him to a pastel desert ghost female. Everything was great. Uh, she had a lot of follicles. Uh, she ended up laying me eight slugs. So that was really hard to swallow. I'm not going to lie, that one really kicked me in the balls. Um, I was looking forward to that. That was my most anticipated clutch last year, and it, it was a failure. And then I had a, a somewhat older 2008 uh, Mystic female. Um, and I don't know what the problem was, uh, but she ended up dying uh, right after her prelay shed. So I, it must have been a complication with the pregnancy, I, am, I imagine, but she just didn't look good one day, and the next day she was dead. Um, and the year before that, she laid one good egg and no slugs. It was kind of weird, because the two years before that, she had given me eight eggs and six eggs. So, it was kind of weird. I don't, I don't really know what was going on with her, but... Um, guess maybe you know I should have given her the year off or something you know the but like I said the prior year she laid one good egg and reabsorbed everything else and uh, you know she looked good after that you know she bounced right back because she didn't lose much weight uh, because she only had laid the one and reabsorbed everything so but it is what it is um, so I ended up with I ended up with one good baby last year for the sunset project. And that was it. So I really had plans to uh, push sunset with DG and um, and I, w I really wanted to see what Mystic Sunset would turn out to be like and stuff like that. But it is what it is. Um, I did not breed him to the Desert Ghost female this year just because I did not want to repeat the pairing and have the same kind of issue. So I wanted to try something else with her and uh, she ended up laying 10 good eggs this year. So uh, she was bred once by an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Desert Ghost and then I wanted to to make triple heads with her so I put an azanthic pied to her so um, either way I'll know who the father is I'll either get a clutch of all desert ghosts or I'll get a clutch of all pastels and normals that are triple heads so um, but yeah anyway so stay tuned for uh, another update video on these guys after they shed and definitely stay tuned for the next sunset clutch I have uh, three, three uh, super enchy eggs bred by the sunset coming too, so that'll be three enchy hat sunsets once they hatch. Um, and then I do have a super fire, possible butter, possible pinstripe female uh, that's been bred by the sunset a couple times. Uh, she's got 17 millimeter follicles but has not shown any growth in the last couple of months and they stopped locking so I really don't know what's gonna happen with that but um, so and she but she's huge like 2600 grams so we'll see what happens with that or if that just ends up being on the back burner for next year so um, like I said she's huge so if it ends up waiting for next year uh, I don't see any reason why they, she shouldn't go. But, all right, guys, that's it. Handful of sunsets. All right, I hope you guys are having a great season, and peace out.